I'm at this phase of my life where I only want the best for me. The best. The best job, the best mental health. I want to travel the world. I want to eat good food. I want to try new things. Last but not least, I want to thank me. <laughs> I want to thank me for believing in me. I want to thank me for doing all this hard work. I want to thank me for having no days off. I want to thank me for, for never quitting. I want to thank me for always being a giver and trying to give more than I receive. I want to thank me for trying to do more right than wrong. I want to thank me for just being me at all times. Snoop Dogg, you a bad Thank you, God. I appreciate that. And I got to thank the man up top, G-O-D, because I'm nothing without him. Say, 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 Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so everyone been dying for me to create this video on the Maldives. And the reason why it's taken so long is because honestly, the Maldives was not what I expected. There's not a lot of information out there to like prepare you for what's to come when you visit the Maldives. So this video is to help those who want to go to the Maldives. There are some important things you need to know because when I tell you I did not know any of this, I did not know. Continue watching because I'm about to show you my experience to the Maldives. I recently celebrated my birthday in the Maldives. And while it's a dream destination for many, there are a few things I notice many companies and influencers don't tell you. And that's where Tiara Travels come in. Here are the things you should know before you plan your trip to the Maldives. First off, those stunning overwater bungalows you see, most people don't pay full price. Hey, I didn't either. But the trick is to use your points. When booking at a name brand hotel, you can buy your points and use them for your stay. It's a huge money saver. And while it sounds too good to be true, yes, there is a catch. While you can use your points for the hotel stay, you'll have to pay full price for the seaplane or sea boat transfer. And let me tell you, it is expensive and there is no way around not paying full price. I even tried. Now, before I get into the price and the details about the seaplane and sea boat, let me tell you how to get to Mali International Airport, also known as MLE. Now, if you're flying from US to Europe and trying to go to Maldives, don't do that direct flight because it's the most expensive way. The cheapest way to get to Maldives is if you're flying from India, Sri Lanka, or Qatar. Why? Because those countries are right next to the Maldives. Luckily, I was able to go to the Maldives for under $200 because I flew in from Sri Lanka. Now, once you land in MLE, you'll then need to take a seaplane or a seaplane to your island. Yeah, many of the hotels are located on a different island. Now, the seaplanes are contracted with Trans Maldivian Airway, TMA, and you can't book one on your own unless you know a pilot. The seaplanes are tiny, and despite the high cost, you'll be sharing it with 14 other passengers. The further your hotel is, the more you have to pay. I had to pay $595 per person for a 25-minute seaplane ride. The seaplanes only operate between 6 a.m. and 3.30, so make sure your flight to MLE arrives early. Otherwise, you will need to stay overnight in MLE or take a seaboat, which is way more expensive than the seaplane. 
The baggage allowance on a seaplane is 20 kilograms for checked luggage and 5 kilograms for hand luggage per person. Excessive baggage costs $5 per kilogram and the price might have increased since the last time I visited was 2023. So you really have to be cautious on how you pack if you're trying to visit the Maldives. Also, bringing alcohol into the Maldives is restricted. You can only purchase it once you're in the country and just know it is quite expensive. Another thing to note is the weather. It rains a lot in Maldives. And while they always tell you there's rainy season and non-raising season, even during the non-rainy season, it rains. And the rain can last between 5 to 10 minutes. But when I tell you it rains, it rains hard. And my last tip, when booking your stay in one of the overwater bungalows, I highly recommend going for an all-inclusive package because buying food on the property is extremely pricey. I ordered pasta, plain noodles with some cheese, and it was 40 US dollars. So guys, these are all my tips and advice for visiting the Maldives. I hope you found this information useful and that it helps you plan your trip better. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more travel insights. It was at the point where it's cheaper if I just leave early than stay the extra night. So I packed up and went to Qatar and enjoyed the rest of my birthday. If I do come back, someone's paying for me. I got to be sponsored or someone have to pay for me to go because, child, I was not prepared for the price. Oh, my goodness. And another thing you're not going to hear people talk about is how boring it is in the Maldives. Like, you, if you think about it, you're in the middle of the ocean. Nothing to do but stay on the little island. So just be prepared for boredom. And the activities they offer on the resort are crazy expensive. So there's a reason why the Maldives is considered a honeymoon spot. Because there's only one thing you can do with your partner. For my solo travelers like me, I wouldn't really suggest the Maldives. I say get a good group of friends to go with you and if you have any questions drop the questions and comments down below i will respond to it all i try to be as detailed as possible so just let me know what you guys think i hope you like this video